Hi, I'm Michaela Chapman. I'm Sheena Chapman. And I'm Donna Gurgley. And you're watching Michaela and Sheena online. Yay! <laughs> What's it like being Donna Gurgley? Um, being Donna Gurgley is great. I have a great life. I have an awesome job where I get to work with a ton of really cool people and kids. And um, I love it. Lots of creativity and fun. Sounds great. Yeah. What is it like being the ca casting director for Disney? Um, well, casting a show like Ant Farm, for example, is awesome. Um, the writers are really, really talented and really funny. And so they come up with some great roles for us to cast. So we're always laughing every day. There's always laughing. Um, and table reads are just the best because you get to sit and listen to the script. And then, of course, nothing's better than Friday night taping. And you get to see it all come together. But... Um, I love what I do. I love meeting all kinds of talented kids, and I love that I don't work on a drama show where it's like dangerous and scary yeah, stuff, and it's yeah. just all ha 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 ha. What is it like working with Brandy Bryce? She's awesome. Brandy is the best person that I could work with. We get along really, really well, and um, we're similar, but also very different in our opinions. So there's a lot of times where I really, really um, agree with everything she thinks and vice versa. And then there's times where she's like, I don't think that guy's great. And I'm like, no, 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 he's great. And we can kind of bounce ideas off of each other. But um, we're a good balance. We're definitely a good balance. I love working with her. Mm, that's good. <laughs> what was your most memorable project you've ever casted for? Well... I love them all, to be honest, but um, I'd have to say working on Sweet Life on Deck was a really cool one because it was our first show. That As show is great. directors. Yeah, it was a great show. Wasn't that fun to watch? Yeah. <laughs> Who's your favorite character on that show? Um, I loved all the shows, but Bailey was the one character that we found because the rest of them came from Zach and Cody. So we found Bailey, and we, had, we read hundreds and hundreds of girls and found Debbie Ryan um, on a tape in Texas. Wow, that sounds great. Yeah. What is the best way kids can submit to you? Um, we take submissions mostly from agents and managers. Um, if they have representation, we release a breakdown online, and then we get submissions online. And that's honestly the best way. Hmm, good to know. Do you like electronic submissions or hard copy? Electronic. I love hard copy, but we don't have the time usually. We just need to get fast submissions, so electronic's the way. Definitely. What types do you cast for? All types. We do young kids. We do older. We've done like 80-year-olds. We've done 6-year-olds. We do teachers and parents and students and cute boys and annoying girls and smart kids and honestly, every type. People with accents, people with from different countries. We are, we do it all. Okay. <laughs> Have you gotten our postcards? Absolutely. I'll never forget your guys' faces. Yeah, I definitely remember both of you. I wrote on mine, I will work for cupcakes, because it's true. I will. Just <laughs> cupcakes? No payment? No payment. <laughs> well, I like cupcakes a lot, too. Yeah, I do. Oh, well. Well, well it depends. <laughs> well, both of you guys are very talented, I have to say. Thank you. <laughs> How come there are many auditions and callbacks and produ produ producer sessions before you yeah, right. get actually cast? Yeah. Well, we usually have to see, like, for a guest star, 60 to 70 kids. And then we'll bring it down to eight people, to eight kids for producers. And producers sometimes immediately like one person. And then we have to send those choices to Disney. And what if Disney doesn't like that person? Then we have to have another producer session. Or maybe the producers don't find the person that they like. Then we have to have another producer session. So... Casting is a very subjective thing. Different people think, di feel differently about actors. You know, some person may watch um, an actor and say, that's it, that's the person. And then the person next to them says, that's not who I thought it would be. So um, sometimes it's hard to find that person. But usually when you find the right person for the role, the whole room agrees. Yeah, definitely. I enjoyed auditioning for Ant Farm, but they, re they like, did the whole entire character over, mm. like, they um, did the different age mm -hmm. and how she is. <laughs> why, why does that happen and how does it happen? It happens because the writers are in the room writing and then they realize, you know what, it's not really working with that age. It's not really working with that type. Maybe we have to rewrite it and change it up. Um, 
for the story to make more sense. Or maybe they get notes from the network and say, you know, let's, let's change it out, around a little bit. It's usually not about the actor. It's usually about the story. Okay. We're available for work if you need us anytime. Good to know. <laughs> so thank you for your interview. Of course. You guys are fun. And we wish you a lot of luck in the future. Aw, thanks so much. Me too. Thank you. Bye. Bye.